Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 14th, the 14th to the 15th. So we're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that, you know, these dailies, they sometimes play out a week later, okay? Um, could be even longer or less. Doesn't mean it's going to happen today. Keep in mind, it's been happening for me uh, like a few days later. So just keep that a few days later. So not, I mean, for some of you, it will be right away. For some of you, it will be, this is for prediction. I mean, that's basically what it is. So we're just going to see what comes up. Don't try to make this fit and wait for things, okay? Wait, wait and see what happens. Beautiful. So this is happiness, extreme bliss. I don't think we could get a better card, okay? Happy, happy, happy. Mm. Confident. Beautiful. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because I have to. The Empress. Okay. So, this is great. Okay. So, we have a few few similar cards of yesterday. I mean, just... And this one was in the same spot. And reversed. So... Okay, so somebody has released some sort of sadness, okay? It's been released. Feeling more stable and secure, gains the, co the confidence. This is basically a runoff from yesterday. Um, you know, allowed something that was not compatible to, to fall away. You know, I'm not going to hold on to this incompatible situation. Somebody has decided that it's time to board the ship, the new ship. Get on that new ship. It's time. It's the ship I've been waiting for. It is the ship. It's the ship I've been waiting for. So if you've been waiting for something to arrive, and getting prepared for it. You've been waiting for this birth, okay? You've been waiting for something to arrive. It feels as though it's, you know, it's been a long time coming, but it's here. It's here. And it's probably going to lead to something really solid and stable. Whoever you are dealing with, um, is very attractive. This person is very, very attractive. This person has a lot of confidence, a lot of high self-esteem, okay? And that could be you, it could be you. Somebody has, has gained a lot of, um, or has a lot of, of confidence in this adventure this new adventure that is arriving because it is it's like somebody has decided to start this this new adventure to get on to, to sail I'm, I'm ready to sail I'm, I'm ready I'm ready to sail with this 
Um, the thing is, is that there's one partnership that has ended. And the partnership that has ended was with an individual that was untrustworthy and was an energy thief. And now, and now somebody has, has healed from that situation and went through that rebirth. Like I said, this is a runoff from yesterday. It absolutely is. They have healed. They have healed from this broken relationship. They've healed. They've healed and refound, refound themselves. Okay. I've ref and now on fire. I am on fire. <laughs> you see the dragons. It's like the dragons have been released. Go get him. Go get him. So, you know, I feel as though there's a devious um, feeling about this. You know, very devious. Um, and this devious nature, this devious, you know, the, the, that somebody's got that, that uh, urge to... It looks like jump on a new ship. <laughs> Get on that new ship. I'm ready. I'm ready for this new, this arrival. I'm ready for this. I'm ready to sail. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. That's what I've just heard. Come sail away with me. So, you know, I feel like there's an opportunity for love here. I think it's with someone new. Okay, it is with someone new because here we have this relationship that breaks up. It's, it breaks apart. It breaks apart. It's done. It's a breakup. Okay, we have a breakup. Somebody takes their time. There's no rush. They take their time to heal and bring happiness to themselves. They relight that fire within. They start to feel abundant with who they are. And now they're receiving a new solid, stable, stable opportunity that you know, I, I, you know, I see a lot of passion here. I see this potential for love and this potential for stability because somebody has released the worry and the regrets and the guilt and the sadness. And, you know, I'm not holding on to that. I, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm abundant with who I am. I'm abundant. I'm abundant and I'm attractive and I feel attractive and I'm worthy I realized that if this relationship, whatever it was, didn't work out, that there's still an opportunity for happiness. And I feel like now that somebody has come to the conclusion that I don't need to be worried about whatever this partnership is that didn't work out, I don't need to be worried about that anymore. They start to, to be their own advocate and just you know, raise their vibration, their vib their, somebody has raised their vibration, and basically, I think it's like called in a, a new suitor, and now this new suitor is here, it's here, it's your reward, it's your miracle, it's your miracle, and last night, it's funny, at two o'clock in the morning, I don't know what happened, but I started looking up miracles. <laughs> so, you know, quotes on miracles. At 2 o'clock in the morning. So what's, what is it now? 10, 11? So what? However many hours ago that was. Um, it's not 10 or 11. I don't even know. I'm, my clock's not open. But anyway. Um, your miracle. After the pain. This is a runoff for yesterday's reading. Is arriving. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But it feels like things have been stalled. Maybe things have been stalled because somebody has been focusing on everything but love. You know, trying to bury themselves in their job, their work, their, their home, their, their money. Just too busy, too busy. I'm too busy for love. You know, somebody has been on that... Um, train and now now all of a sudden there's this emotional connection that 
somebody was reluctant to move into. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because this is reluctant to love. So, I mean, somebody has been reluctant to, to open their heart to this situation, but you know, you when it's meant to be, when the miracle arrives, it arrives right on time, whether you like it or not, when it, on their time. Okay, when the baby is born, it's not when you think it's going to be born, it's when it's going to be born. Okay, so, you know, I feel as though there is an arrival that is coming that you may not have expected it to be at this time. You may have thought, you know, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this working on me right now, you know, I'm feeling pretty um, successful right where I'm at, I'm feeling good, you're on, you really worked on your healing, you've gone through your own little rebirth, it's like, you're probably thinking, you know, this is just a flirt, you know, I'm just flirting, it's just kind of devious, okay, I'm just flirting, you know, this is just, um, an adventure for me. Yeah, this is exciting and I'm really excited about it. But all of a sudden, feelings are involved. And it's really funny. It's really funny. I posted something on my Facebook page last night as well about I caught feelings. What's it say? Like an amateur. It's almost like, I, you know, I wasn't planning to catch feelings for this. Not at this time. Okay. But here they are. Here they are. So yeah, I feel like whatever it is that you didn't expect to come, you know, probably you probably thought you had time. I had I had I had time for this. Yeah, I had time. I had time. I was reluctant to move forward in love. I had time for this. And then all of a sudden this miracle is here and it's looking at you and it's like Damn. Damn. And you know, the king of coins in reverse is a person that's interested in everything but love. When he's in reverse, like sex and money, okay, that's what he's interested in. May do things illegally, you know, in reverse. But all of a sudden, there's love. <laughs> and this king can be anybody. I'm just telling you the energies, okay, it can be any sign. But somebody is falling in love. That's what it looks like to me. Or there's going to be a new offer of love that is unexpected. There's an arrival. This could even be a birth, an actual birth of a child, okay? There is an arrival that is it's somebody has actually been waiting for. I've been waiting for this arrival, but in preparing for this arrival, but not thinking that it was going to come now, okay? And so I believe that your, your, your ship is closer than you think. <laughs> so, and you know, I have to tell you that threes... Threes are your prayers have been heard. Okay, your prayers have been heard. So even if you've been subconsciously praying or praying, you know, out loud, your prayers have been heard. So whatever it is that you've been desiring, is, is it, it feels as though it's coming. But I have to tell you, with, with this empress, with the birth, you may not get what you think you're going to get. You know what I mean? At the time that you think you're going to get it. You never know what's going to what's gonna happen. You never know what's going to happen when you get that miracle. It's not going to be exactly what you think. Yes, you, you have that picture of your miracle in your head. You think you know what it's going to look like, you know. You think you know. You think you know what it's going to be. And then all of a sudden it's born and it's not what you thought. It's sometimes, and usually it's, it's even better, but I mean, sometimes it's not. So you never know what you're going to get. So you may think you know, but you don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. So I feel as though there is a sudden arrival that is coming. Um, something that you have been waiting for you've been waiting for for quite some time and it is the answer to your prayers <sighs> it's gonna make you extremely extremely happy and maybe you you just thought this was just a flirt you know it was just some 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 flirting but it turned into uh, yeah you were in no rush or somebody was in no rush to fall in love and now 
there's love. So, you know, I, after some sort of breakup that has made somebody find their power, okay? So, it, I mean, there's an opera. This is what this is. The, the, your arrival that you've been waiting for is coming. It's not what you think it is. It's not. So for those of you that are thinking that um, it's this partner that you broke up with, it's not. It's somebody new, okay? Or the partner that broke up with you? No, no. This reading is for the people that have come out of denial. Because this queen is upright. She's not in denial. She's, she's relit her fire. She is, she's refound her self-worth and her self-confidence. So I feel like what is coming is a miracle. For those of you that have found your your self-respect and your self-worth and released something that was very, very troublesome, a relationship that was troublesome, you've released it. It's been released. Now there's an opportunity for, for love in which somebody's been reluctant to move into it, you know, burying themselves in everything but love, but, you know, here it is. Here's your miracle. So I feel like that's what today is. I think, or next week or whatever, it's coming, it's coming. Your miracle, whatever it is that you have been wishing for is absolutely positively coming. Um, somebody wants to join with you. They, wanna, they want to, you know, come together. Um... <laughs> But it may have just started out as a, you know, a flirty, devious, passionate connection, okay? But all of a sudden, <laughs> there's feelings involved. Oh, Jesus. So, um, and it could lead to something really, really, really stable. Let's just read that one, okay? <laughs> Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Now keep in mind, like I said, that these, these readings are predictor. And so it may not be today, it could be next week. This, this, this is a prediction for those of you that have found your self-respect, your self-confidence, and your self-worth. If you are this queen in reversed, then you still need to heal. If you are still holding on to a relationship that is broken, you need to heal. This queen has healed from a broken relationship. So for those of you that are still hurting yourselves by hanging on to a broken relationship and losing sleep and living in despair, you have to get to this point of self-worth and self-respect before this love comes in. You have to go through the pain to get to the birth. You have to feel the pain and accept it. We talked about this yesterday. So for those of you that are, are, are waiting for somebody to come fix you, you have to fix you first. For those of you that are waiting for this broken relationship to come back around, you have to heal yourself. You have to stop lying to yourself. Somebody's reluctant to move into a, a love situation because they're still holding on to this broken relationship.
True abundance comes from within. It comes from your self-worth. Finding sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. Rest, rejuvenate, tune into your spiritual source. It's in times of retreat and inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul. Go within and find your inner refuge. Be a safe haven for others. Step forward with grace, deliberation, and thoughtfulness. Take moments for reflection. Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Remember I said somebody had healed. Somebody had healed. And if you haven't, this is advice. Time out. There's a relationship that has broken apart that needs to be healed. Some of you have done it. Obviously, some of you have not. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. Sometimes the voyager becomes travel weary. The pack becomes heavy and the journey becomes lackluster. It's in these moments that the traveler need, needs to step off the path and find a temple or sanctuary to reassess and renew and to remember what is truly important in life. This gives perspective and new life strategies. Create a place of beauty in your home or in nature that feels sacred and holy and spend time there, carefully listening to your inner voice. Listen to the voice of spirit. I feel like there's an opportunity for extreme happiness as, as somebody has raised their vibration to a point of you know extreme extreme an extreme high, okay? It's a very, ex it, there's extreme happiness coming because somebody has raised their vibration through this period of healing. Some of you have not, okay? Some of you haven't gotten there yet. We're all at different levels. For those of you that have refound your strength, as in yesterday's reading, and you have decided that, you know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. There's love. It's an offer of love. So be prepared for a miracle. Something you've been praying for. But it may not be what you expect, okay? It may not be what you expect. Talk to you tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to do the weeklies now. <laughs>